I picked this game up the other day, and it is probably one of the most fun games I've ever played, ever. One of my favorite games, and if you watched, um, if you watched Down the Scope the other day, you saw, or you heard, rather, me talking about how much fun I was having here. Um, this game that I'm talking about is Dungeon Defenders, and right now we are the Apprentice class, and we are on a level I've never played. I decided to do a level, uh, this is the Throne Room level. Um, pretty much the objective is a dungeon defense game, and uh, basically you are one of four characters. Uh, you're an Apprentice, which is a mage slash ranged fighter. Uh, you're a squire, which is a full-blown physical attacker, or you're uh, a monk, which is kind of a mixture, I guess, of squire and, and mage, and then you're the huntress or, or whatever, and she basically uses a uh, crossbow. And each of them have different, um, each of them have different towers uh, to use. Uh, each of them have, I guess, five. Um, you got your missile tower, you got your blockade, fire, lightning, and deadly strike tower. And these are basic, these are what you're going to be using to defend these crystals here. And these crystals are what you're, they're what you're trying to protect. And before each wave, as you can see in the top, we have eight waves to this, um, to this level. You're going to get to see how many and what kind of enemies are going to come out of each door. So you can see we got seven enemies coming out of here. Basically what you want to do is kind of look for a choke point or where these enemies are going to have to go to get down to your tower. So we can see right here that this is going to be a main choke point where they're going to come down. Uh, some of them might circle around to this stairway. Some of them might decide to go this way. So I have 490 mana you can see in the bottom down there. Um, the blue uh, side of the diamond re uh, represents the mana that I have and that's what you basically use as currency to purchase your towers. The left of the red is my health, of course. So now I'm just going to play. Uh, first of all, I'm going to put some put some blockades here so that they can't get by. Unfortunately, the, the the blockades are pretty cheap. They can just walk right up there. So we'll put some up here too. Me, I'm very very overly cautious. I guess I don't know how other people play. Never even watched somebody play one of these before. But I'm like extremely cautious when it comes to my building. Uh, making sure that I've got too many blockades there, and that even if they try to funnel down this way, um, my magic towers are going to destroy them, going to make them pay. All right, so we're going to put another tower there, and so now we've got a pretty good basis for defending this way in the beginning. The crappy thing is that uh, what you what you really have to do is look at choke points here, um, because if you try and defend two ways in the very beginning it's going to be insanely difficult so you want to try and you want to try and block off like this and take out where it intersects and that's pretty much where the difficulty of this game comes from not just the uh, hordes of different enemies but also the the uh, different routes that those enemies can take you could have 200 enemies one wave and it could still be considered a very easy map because of the route that they have to take to get to you um, as far as I know, I don't think that they can just jump off the side. I think they actually have to travel down a path. I'm not 100% sure on that. And an even smarter idea would be to have built the barriers here. So that we only had to have bought three, and I'll go back and change that. But basically, the, the I'm playing this on the PC, and the PC controls... The, P, the PC controls are very, um... Very nice. Um... They, they, they lend really well. Um, you can play this on the PS3 and the Xbox as well. And that's one thing I really enjoy about the game. You can play this like in first person, you can play it in third person, or you can kind of like back out and have like this over the head thing going on. A lot of people like that. And you can kind of just like choose where you want to shoot. So say I wanted to shoot this guy, I could just like sit there and, and, and aim at this guy. And then if I wanted to play something down, it just it, it makes it a little bit easier. Me personally, I really enjoy the um, I really enjoy the third person aspect of it. It uh, the the character models are absolutely amazing. Um, as you can see, they they really do lend this just 
it, somebody I can't remember who it was in one of my streams said it looks a lot like Spyro, and it does. It really does. Very, very awesome art style to the to the game. So I'm gonna go ahead and place a few more. The thing is, is that the thing I like about these dungeon defense games is you're not screwed, okay? So say I accidentally left a hole and I, I made a mistake, and it's like, oh shit, I've got to fix that. You're you're not you're not limited to to just using your turrets. You can still fight back, and that's freaking awesome. All right. So in any case, I think we have a decent defense. Um, in place for the first wave or two at least. Uh, <laughs> I say at least because I think they're all going to funnel in there. So basically, when you're ready to when, when you're ready to start the mission, you walk up here to these uh, the little crystal. You hit E, and the wave commences. And um, now you can pretty much just you could use yourself as a turret. You know, you can defend an area like so. And um, you'll see the. Um, You'll see the TF2 engineer up there. He is a special Steam-only offer. Basi oh, another thing, when they're in that purple aura thing, they're pretty much invincible. They are invincible. Not pretty much, they are. Um, but yeah, you, uh, you get a Steam deal where you get all the TF... Uh, four of the TF2 classes. Um, you get the engineer, the medic, the demolition expert, or whatever. I, I, I don't play TF2, so I don't know the names, and I'm not sure what the other one is, but... Basically, they, uh, they they do special things for you. Uh, they also give you a boost to your stats, kind of like a piece of equipment would. Oh, shit! And we had a hole. And they are just destroying our crystal. That's absolutely crazy. I didn't even notice it said that at the top of the screen. Um, so, yeah, you can see that somewhere along the way, they busted in. But that's okay, uh, because now we're... We're, we're good. We, uh, we have enough resources to actually build a way better defense. So, right here, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put a... I'm going to put a lightning tower here. And I'm going to put another lightning tower here. And this will basically give us some kind of uh, security if they bust through our defenses that we're going to build. In each round, there these uh, treasure chests are going to pop up. You basically can come over here and all the equipment will come out. And a quick way to look at it, if you if you go over it and a red square pops up, that means it's probably worse than what you got on. So what I do is I just leave them there, and then when you end the round, the wave or the, the match, um, it'll sell them for you immediately. Uh, you can check your tower's health by looking down here at the bottom of them, and it'll kind of give you an idea. Like the, the medic class, he actually, or no, it's the engineer he actually heals. If you get close enough, he'll go and start repairing your shit. So <laughs> it's pretty neat. It's pretty awesome to have. Um, a good idea is probably now that we have some more money is to set up... Um, go ahead and set up some fire towers. Now these are pretty much just uh, stronger... Uh, just stronger towers that we, that we the ones we have um, out right now. They shoot a little bit slower. But I have a, I have, uh, you know, one of your stats is to be able to uh, have your tower shoot quicker. You, uh, you don't just level up your character; you level up your uh, turret stats. So it's pretty neat, uh, to be honest. I, uh, God, I love this game. It's, it's a phenomenal, uh, phenomenal game. If you haven't played it, uh, by the time this video goes out, it should be Sunday, uh, Saturday night or Sunday morning, and. Um, the Steam sale will be just in there. You can grab this game for free for the rest of the day, I believe. Um, if you're not watching this anytime um, <laughs> uh, during the Steam sale, just go buy it. You don't even need to test it out. It's not. It's not even worth testing. It's just worth buying. So you can see we're now out of mana. Um, go pick up some of this. See, see if that'll give us enough to put at least a fireball turret there. And that's a big, that's a big, uh, yes! We can put one fireball turret down. Um, that's one thing I wish you could do. I wish you could actually lock your, uh, position. So, cause like, when you go, when you're walking around, you accidentally hit back, you know, it changes, or you roll the mouse wheel, it'll change your position. So, I wish you could, I wish you could remedy that, but other than that, I'm not gonna complain about much in this game. I'm not even showing you yet the multiplayer, which I will uh, as soon as I can get somebody to fucking play with me. Um, 
Uh, everybody that that uh, claims they're going to play with me just kind of backs out. So we're going to start the next. Uh, we're going to start the next wave now. We're just going to see how we fare. This would be a good place probably to uh, to put a turret or something like right here. But literally, the you know the the first round, you're really just focusing on cordoning off the uh, cornering the enemy into basically or funneling them into a a hole. <laughs> A one-way street, if you will, of death and destruction. Um, as you continue, um, you need to just kind of add inward or outward to protect what you, you know, what you already have. I don't know how he got past me or past that fire. <laughs> That's really weird. So as you can see, the um, they somehow are getting past. I don't know what the hell they're doing to get past, like I didn't see them move, but that's a good thing to look at, and for some reason my lightning tower is not taking them all out the way it should. How is it under attack? Where is there, is there an archer or something? Yeah, there he is. So you can also uh, power up your single shot and shoot a stronger single shot, or you can do a basically area of effect and boom, and knock people around and back. It's not very powerful, but it does knock them, knock them silly. I'm just trying to figure out where they came from, how they got past. I'm just kind of confused. They had to have come from over there. Oh yeah, yeah, I forgot I didn't put up a defense there. I'm such a dumb shit. Alright, so I'm tired of waiting on this guy. I'm going to come over here and destroy him myself. and I'm going to come down in here and just start picking up all my shit. And then we'll, we'll uh, put a little defense over here on this area. Um... Let's see. I'm gonna back up here. I'm gonna put it right now. I'll put it in here. There's no reason for it to not be there. So yeah, well, so you can basically, as you as you've seen me do, you can go into this radio wheel. This is brought up by clicking the uh, mouse wheel, and you can do everything from this wheel. Uh, you're also you also son of a bitch. You also have hotkeys at the bottom, and uh, you can use those to to basically just you know bring up your your shit. Um, I know this is normal for for PC users, but I'm new to PC and I'm just absolutely loving everything there is to uh, the PC world. Um, in any case, that is pretty much all we needed there to make it more uh, secure. But since we have some some mana to spare, uh, actually we need to go pick up the rest. Let me go do that. Since we have the mana to spare now, we can actually do some some uh, some tweaks. See, I wish these freaking statues weren't here. If they weren't here, I, man, these this would all be lined with turrets. So basically, we need some. We need. We've seen that we need protection from. Um, we need some type of protection from incoming enemies there because they're just not gonna. They're not gonna give up. And as you can see, the cone, the scope of my uh, turrets ability is pretty high. I'm I'm level 30, so I can shoot pretty far. Um, and that should cover that side pretty well, if I'm not mistaken. Um, it don't, doesn't look like, like, the turrets, or my turrets could take care of themselves pretty well. Like, you can see these haven't even taken any damage. They just kick ass, is what they do, all day today. Um, you don't want to set turrets too close to this purple thing, because the enemies will get stuck, and they'll just start clobbering the shit out of them and be invincible. It's pretty stupid. Uh, but you see, you get to a point to where you can get pretty confident about your design here. Um, like right here, I mean, we, we don't have enemies coming past here, but just in case, we can always add a lightning tower. And uh, it'll cover this wide area here. And then we could add a... We could add like two magic blockades here so that even if something did get close to it, like a... Like, there, there's basically, like, little, little mini-bosses that come in, like, like ogres and shit, and they can fuck up your day pretty hard. Um, yeah, let me uh, put one more there, because I've got the points to do it. Uh, they, they, they're basically mini-bosses, and they normally have, for my level, like, 10 to 15,000 health, and they can, <laughs> they, they can ruin what you think is a formidable defense. They can pretty much just trash it immediately. So you gotta be really careful in that aspect. Um, let's see here. I do hope you guys uh, look at this game and think, oh, this is sweet, like I did. Um, so we got almost 200 enemies coming this time. 
What I like to do is just kind of like get up somewhere high and survey the surrounding area. And um, just kind of like, you know, see, I wonder if I can get up there. Shit. Uh, kind of survey what's happening. If I need to make adjustments, I can see what I need to do. Also, as you've seen me do a few times, you can hit shift and you can actually watch the battle play out on the minimap. You can see what enemies are going where, you can see um, if they're breaking through. Uh, the only thing I wish they had done with this map is show the cone of your uh, turrets. That would be pretty, pretty cool. They showed the cone of the attack. So we could see here, they've broken through um, over here. They broke through our defenses. But luckily, we've, we've set up enough that even if they broke through, we can still get them. But we have to worry about them taking out our, uh, our turret here. I don't know how he got through. I guess he... I don't know. It's weird. <laughs> How'd he get through? <laughs> How did my fireball not stop him? Anyway. Things to worry about for another day. Now I'm stuck. Alright, so... Yeah, we basically uh, destroyed that, but we saw that there was like a kink in our defenses here. So, what I generally like to do is kind of come over here and sell what I got, because I'm seeing that this isn't going to work uh, for some reason. So I'll probably like move it back into this corner or something. A better idea, and an even more cheaper idea, would be to just put a turret here, because the turrets shoot faster, and it seems like there's not that many strong enemies up here. Um, but it wouldn't be a bad idea to also put a fireball tower here as well. Just to take care of some bigger enemies. Um, I always put these magic blockades close, obviously close enough to a, to a tower that they're going to... You know, they're not going to be... They don't have to destroy it to get close to a tower to die. They can die pretty quickly. <laughs> within the tower's grasp. You may, know, you may be asking, hey, why aren't you opening all the chests every time? I'm just, I, I'm literally just showing this for tutorial purposes, like, not, or, or just to show off the game. Um, it's not a big deal. Plus, I've got my armor, my armor and weapons. By the way, I haven't even shown the uh, UI. So as you, <laughs> as you can see, an ogre has appeared here as well. And this guy is going, he's got a humongous weapon. Oh, what the hell is that? I don't even know what that is. Anyway, uh, he's going to destroy our turrets. That's his job. Whoa, shit. He is not even taking taking a break. He's almost dead. There he goes, finally. So this will show off how you can, um, you can repair your defenses. It costs, depending on how hurt they are, uh, you know, cost that much that much mana and it's 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 worthy to note that during a uh, during a battle it takes a lot longer to build and repair than it would if you were in build mode obviously um, oh shit they're attacking my how the hell is he getting down there you fucking dick sh motherfucker this is pissing me off. I need to fix this or something. Jesus Christ! I didn't even set up. I don't know. I don't know why the the, the firewall isn't stopping them. Boss wave. Uh oh. We might get to see something interesting here. I've never fought this boss. All right. I don't know where the boss is going to come from. Um. It said boss wave. 620 enemies. Maybe it just meant. It's an insanely powerful wave. So for this wave, I am going to, uh, hmm. So for this wave, I'm going to pretty much like fortify everything tenfold. <laughs> pretty much is what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna put some towers here. All right, something tells me I'm going to get pwned. Um, but who knows, I basically, if you look up at the top, you'll see defense units, it's 100 out of 100. You basically, ha you can't just build forever. Uh, you basically, you'll run out of the ability to build, uh, you'll hit the max, and then you'll have to basically, if you want to build somewhere else, you'll have to destroy something. 
we're not going to do that. We're going to sit in this throne. No, we're not. <laughs> we're going to come over here and pray that uh, everything goes according to plan. To be honest, I really wanted to beef this up because it's not beefed up, but I guess I could just sit here and attack. Okay, so an ogre. God dang it. Ogres. Just got to see where this ogre's at. He's, he's coming in this way. Oh, this sucks. All right, I'm going to build a third tower here. Another ogre. Oh, no. So, yeah. Here's hoping that our defenses can... You know, I, I basically... I, I almost want to, like, just curl into a ball right here and pray that they don't make it here. Is what I want to do. Um, he's got 6,000 life. I think we could take him down. Come on. Come on. And then there's a ninja. Okay, so we need to summon up pretty quick here. <laughs> I'm trying to get defenses back as fast as I can to this area. As you can see, it can get get hectic very quickly. Um, wow. I'm hoping those turrets can take care of the ogre behind me, and I hope he's not just going to come up and uh, destroy me. No. It's getting crazy hard. Not really hard, just hectic. I should have probably prepared better. Okay, they are attacking one of my crystals. He got by. I guess the ogre uh, destroyed the die pool. So it looks like the ogre got destroyed, but they uh, they broke down all of my defenses on this side. So that's good. At least it did its job, especially when it was just two turrets. There was really nothing else to fight. What I could have done was put turrets up here on the side and protected them from behind. No! 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 The boss approaches. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and... God, I don't know where he's gonna come from. That's the shitty thing. I have no idea where he's gonna come from, period. That's where I thought. Okay, cool. Goblin mech. Okay, so you guys are gonna see me fight a boss. Um... I honestly don't know what the hell's happening. There we go. Okay, so he's gonna sharpen his blades. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and oop, nope. Hey, he's gonna kill me. I'm going to repair. Yo, it's gonna take forever. What are there other enemies coming to? Oh dear. I didn't realize this. I did not realize it was another wave. This uh, definitely sucks, however, the boss is dying very fast, so that's always good. He is not going, he is not taking this uh, beating very well, to be honest. And this is a very poor execution of how to fight this boss. I was unprepared. I didn't realize I was about to fight the boss. I thought that was a boss wave. Doesn't matter. He's almost dead. Obviously, you can see his... Uh, I fought a boss before, and he died before I even really got to look at him. I was, like, on the other side of the map. I turned around. By the time I turned around and walked off, he had died. So I guess my defenses were really good for that one. But here we get to see some just some gameplay. I mean, I actually get to sit here and fight, which is pretty badass. Alright, so he's got 300 hit points left. I don't know, I guess he's destroyed all my shit, so we'll go up and finish him off ourselves. Boss defeated. Now would probably be a good time to throw in some... Oh, okay, I guess that was the wave. I guess they all died in that at that juncture. Um... In any case, I hope you have enjoyed this. This is the UI. Before I go, this is the UI. Uh, basically, you know, you've got your hero here. You got your hero attributes. This is your health, your physical, your damage you deal, your speed, and your casting rate. And then this is your turret, your tower defense. This is the health, damage, area of effect, and the time, at, the rate at which it attacks. And these are your special attacks. Overcharge allows you. It drains mana, but it allows you to build things faster. And I haven't used Mana Bomb yet. Heard it's pretty badass, though. 
and every time you level up you get points to spend in here and it was recommended to me not to spend these on life as much as uh, as these over here um, mainly because you know you want your damage and everything as long as it's high you don't really have to worry about yourself like I don't put anything into these two right here my life or my attack because I'm just going to use my towers here you've got what weapons and armor you have equipped uh, to what you know where, where you've got them equipped and what they are what the uh, attributes are and uh, these basically tell you so this is telling you you know it ups did that ability by 14 percent or it gives you a 14 percent resistance to something so that's pretty much it this is the cell Every, everything costs mana so you can see that these things this is how much it's worth um, you can sell those in the item locker basically every level in order to equip or look at your items every every level has an item locker I'm not really sure where this levels is because I didn't use it but in any case guys I really would like to thank you for watching if you have a comment or question uh, please leave it below and I will answer it to the best of my ability um, if you'd like to add me on Steam it's VeridiaGuru22 and uh, I'm playing Dungeon Defenders so if you want to play Hop into a private lobby, send me a friend request, and come on in and we'll play something. Till then, I'm Viridia, and I'm Audi. See you later.